In this module, I'm going to cover the radial gauge chart. Let's discuss the radial gauge chart. It's basically in the form of following shape. We have a different circle covers all the values of our products. In this module, I'm going to create the radial gauge chart by using the same record that is percentage of Windows, iOS, Android and other OS users. So without wasting any time, let's switch back to the Wheel Studio. And again, inside this main page, I'm not going to add anything new. So let's switch back to the main page.xaml.cs file. And there we have a list of entries that represents the data that we want to display on our device screen. And inside the constructor, we have the same scenario that is to access the chart. But this time, we have a radial gauge chart instead of a donut chart. So let's remove this donut chart here and add a radial gauge chart here. And you can see now, we can tackle the following properties of radial gauge. So the first thing I'm going to add is minimum value to 0 and max value to 100 so that my radial gauge chart will start from 0 and goes up to 100. And then I'll simply set the label text size. Well, if you want to change the label text size, you can also set manually. The next thing is to set the margins of this chart control. So I'm going to add the margins of 10 units from all the sides and then simply assign this underscore entries to the property entry which accepts i enumerable and list. And finally we can set the background color of this chart according to your choice. Let's run this application on the device and you can see that the radial gauge chart control is displaying on our device in a beautiful way. But wait for a moment. If you want to change the angle of this radial gauge, then of course you can do that by simply adding a start angle property inside the radial gauge chart. See you guys in the next module.